So, Wargaming has the released a new assembly shop again. This time we got the object for Py2K. Let's take a look at the video. All designers and engineers encounter situations when old solutions just won't cut it. So what? Mm. what's the answer? Experiment. Surely a tank can't be both compact and well protected. Or can it? If you combine a good layout with the maximum possible armor slopes, you get the Object 452K, an experimental project somewhere in between an assault tank and a heavy breakthrough tank. It has an interesting look and a brutal 3D style yes, yes, complete with serial number. This the object look looks like good. it was designed for speed tests. Uh, it looks decent, but uh, these styles are not... That's not right. Of... It's one of the lowest, most streamlined tier... I don't like this, though. I kind of would like to see the gun marks here, I guess. Ten tanks. That means it's hard to... Pretty small, I guess. ...hit. And even harder to take your eyes off. If this supercar had doors, they definitely open upward. Mm, okay. Another distinguishing feature is its armor slope angles. They're so sharp, you could use them to cut an FB4005 into two and a half FB. Yeah, uh, this lovely meat plate, let's say it's, well, at least the meat plate, uh, the lower plate, so it probably has a lower, lower plate, but yes, the lower plate here it doesn't look quite sharp to me, not gonna lie. This does look quite sharp on this area, I guess. We'll see. The 2002s. The slopes help deflect enemy shells and dominate on uneven terrain. Yeah, look at that. What is this? 250? 280? Yeah, anything would go through this. Yeah, lower, lower plate. Upper plate looks alright, I guess. But oh, only if used plate. correctly. The armor requires a special approach because mm. the front hull is easily penetrated if you're right in front of an enemy. Basically, we're giving saying, oh, don't play, but get good. But if you hide the lower glacis plate and tilt up the upper hull on some terrain, the like object in most tanks, by the way, that's what you usually want to do. So it will become a fortress. Special. You can try to bait enemies for shots at a sharp angle, like in the Panzer 7. Or the AMX M4, or I don't know about this. Maybe this is pretty flat. Yeah, like we can see that side scraping here is not the best. It should be fine. Don't know about any chicks here. We'll see. I you guess. can side scrape. Doing so will make the slanted parts weak spots, but they're small and have pretty effective armor. And the turret, it's a monolith. This this looks pretty crazy though. Look at the gun, right on top. Looks like a small cupola, but let's see. It's a titan that holds up the sky. It's reinforced concrete. It can't be penetrated anywhere. I uh, like the scale over here. 500. Nice. Looks like the monolith is impenetrable. Uh, I don't know from this side. I will need to. If it can be penetrated from the side very easily. From the front, it looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Like probably even the Yak Panther 100 hitch might have a problem with this thing. Where except for Thank God it has a cupola though. For a small hatch you can hide just by lifting the hull a little. Another problem I see is maybe Artis can dump on it quite a bit. The gun depression angles won't always allow you to shoot when in a position like that. Well, You'll probably have great. to expose your entire hull on the hill on Westfield, for example. So pick your position. Yeah, West Hill is not the best example to play over here for with minus seven. Uh, you'll probably play on the left of the hill or somewhere else on the map entirely. The ride is only for minus ten plus. You're gonna have a hard time with minus eight and not minus seven here. Position carefully, but still thinking. No enemies will play like this. They're either gonna be under here or over here. Come on, bro. It's the key to also you get, get shot from over here, so this this is bad. Survival in the 452K. 
its gun being located at the very top also makes playing on terrain that little bit more comfortable. That is true. The gun being on top will probably make it feel nice. Just especially that uh, hiding the cupola might be easier, I guess. Above it is only sky and the antenna and the machine gun. At seven degrees of depression, the gun is ready to cause damage. Five yeah, seven degrees, as I said, is not the best, but I guess you can't work with it. 560 Alpha is pretty nice. Whoa, this pen is pretty low. 260, that's like i7 kind of pen. 320, I uh, will probably guess hit since it's Russian. 320 is pretty low for hit. This is not gonna be a tank that you can easily pen tank other enemies with. 2.4k average DPM. That's a bit of a yikes, but should be fine, I guess. 14 seconds reload time. Let's hope that we can reduce this down to, let's say, 10. Because uh, 14 is just too much. Uh, 0.38 dispersion, 2.5 accuracy, that's good. Aiming time, sorry. 3.8 dispersion is also good for a 5.60 alpha. This is going to be an interesting mid long range well probably mid range i guess tank or long range short mostly mid i think it's gonna be mid range 560 hp of damage per shot to be precise on top of this the tank also has decent damage per minute reasonable penetration with both shell types both oh, shell types mm, we don't look at the he Acceptable aiming time and good stabilization. I swear the aim time is probably the better part of it. All but in we're all, we're gonna need to check the ground resistances. Uh, no, go, uh, uh, uh. Do you see uh, the ground resistances? Resistances, whatever they're called, to check the uh, aim time. It's well equipped to do damage. It also go. lets you use turbocharger Christ. instead of stabilizer. But that's up to you. Yeah. The object 452K. It's pretty nice. 40 and 16. It's probably going to be one of the faster heavy tanks, I guess. It's one of the most mobile assault heavy tanks. These for these, we're not going to need to check the ground resistance. It accelerates well and is pretty Seven nimble, both going forward nice well. and in reverse. Turbocharger will make it feel even better. Power speed is a bit low. But it's not a necessity. You can focus on fire. Uh, we'll probably go with power and survivability though. instead. The tank's modules will thank you for improved configuration or survival improvement suite T3. Mm, as if people have uh, just uh, a bunch of them lying around. For example, you set up the object 452K in a range of different ways because it combines dynamics, armor for positional play, and impressive damage. It's an unusual vehicle full of contrasts me. that'll leave a lasting impression. And know. that you should definitely fight for in the new assembly shop. The event rule. I guess it's gonna be pretty nice. Looks like there's gonna be 40k of them in the EU. I think there's only gonna be like 10k. Sorry, 40k with style. I think it was like 5k in the NA server or 10k. I don't remember. Something along those lines are the same as before. Assemble the tank using different resources and define what and how much you want to spend using a special widget. On oh damn. Are these worse than last time? I don't remember, but these, these, these feels way worse. I assume this means that they, we can't use as much as we want, like last time, yeah. 22% of national fragments. On the yeah, 36 natural net 40 from Universal. Yikes, we're gaming. Okay, sure, I guess, whatever. The website. When? Uh, I guess the best thing will be again to use as much as you can with Universal National and then just free XP. It's probably not worth switching to if you can free XP and then gold, I guess. Bones I will then use on a tank, I guess, unless it's equipment, and then credits are 
that you have a shit ton of them lying around. I don't see a point of using credits. It will be... What is this? 1 billion and 250 million? Or are my numbers wrong? Calculator time. No, what am I saying? Uh, 125 million. My bad. I put a zero as well down there. Yeah. 125 million worth for this tank. I don't know. That's a lot of credits, bro. That's like uh, six. Uh, that's about 20 tier 10 tanks. If you buy them at full price. Yeah, I don't know. When the event starts, don't delay. Only the first half of the lucky ones will get the vehicle with its... That's good though. Like, I, th I think last time there was like less than half, or was it? Like one in three, something like that. It was less than half, I think, that you could get the numbers. So this is good, I guess. More people can get uh, style. Trademark 3D style. At least that doesn't look that good though. Looks decent, but I will then put it over the top or anything. Good luck in your race for the best number. And that's it, guys. Go and have a look at Hanks GG real quick. I think they haven't updated these stats. Uh, like I saw a video that Piggy Baby that was like, oh, stats are not updated. And yes, they're right. Uh, the move speed and the camo, I think, right? Uh, the camo got worse. This would have been pretty good for a heavy tank. Is it a heavy tank? Yeah, it is a heavy tank. 18 would have been pretty good for a heavy tank. That's like uh, they probably decreased it to like some like 13 if i had to guess and the power to wave was from 13.6 to 16 is actually insane all right though radio man commander normal stuff seven degrees all around except it's back i guess which has four in the back take a look at the 3d style i don't assume they changed it this yeah this is low pendel compare it with something with decent pen actually let's test it out with the best pen in the game because why not right see how that does uh uh down depression give it its best it can do uh, with gun depression, it does good. We're gonna be definitely needing to use the gun depression. Like what you see in yellow here will probably be in red in other shells. And then, as soon as you go up to zero, then something like this, I guess. But keep in mind, let's go back to 300, let's say. And most tank will, because of its low profile, will look down on it. So just remember that if they look down on it, even with this 300 millimeters span, the turret becomes green already. So you need to remember that if you're facing, you need to be facing from a long range to shoot. And I guess there is the capola as well up on top. Which, if you're not using the gun depression, which is, I guess, not showing, up to like seven, I guess. Oh, it's an oscillating gun, though, as well. Is it? Yes, it is. Look at that. Okay, interesting. Uh, this side of the gun is pretty bad again. And this side, oh, like anything that is not in front of this tank 
the cheeks are pretty decent as well for side scraping only 300 though those we can see with the 300 ap uh, like 320 hit let's say uh is still quite penable as is more rich in the bug line it's pretty interesting fv is pending with he incoming over here i can't feel it it's coming what about the roof roof only 40 millimeters oh 35 in the bug oh no this bug though area that is popping up will be a problem for side scraping yep interesting Hundred millimeters on the side, flat on the right, so it's not angled, so I can it works normally, I guess. Side of the turret, you turn it a bit, right? Yeah, you turn it like what is this? Twenty-five degrees, and it's already green. Then. 20 at around 20 degrees i guess it's where it gets pretty bad yeah uh, it becomes like 300 at 20 degrees so take that into consideration that this tongue is only playable from the front if you catch it sight is the pen was it back like 50 in the back back of the turret 60. So the bug is penable with HE, so that's all right, I guess. Not what should happen with heavy tanks, but oh well. Even these guys, oh, they nerfed the HE. Oh no, that's the other. Oops. Uh. So yeah, this guy has sixty-five, I think, with HE. Yeah, so he can't pen itself in the bug with HE. Both turret and bug. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great time, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.